Hi, Lori Cantus here with UncheckYourPresentation.com, ridding the world of crappy presentations one PowerPoint at a time. And today we are going to talk about fonts. And fonts are really important in your presentation. And if you want to see an example of that, think back to if you've ever sat through a presentation done entirely in Comic Sans. And you will know that fonts are incredibly important to your presentation. They can make your presentation look professional or not. So here there are two types of fonts that I'm going to show you today, um, give you some examples of what I like. And we have headline fonts and body fonts. So this is a headline font and this is a body font. Headlines obviously usually go towards the top of your slide or somewhere in the middle and then your body of your font is what's going to be used to show your contact your content and there are two types of fonts that you would be seeing in the font world there's serif fonts and typically sans serif fonts so serif fonts have well they have serifs at the end and the serif is those little lines sort of little decorations towards the end of the font there and the sans serif fonts you can see don't have those little extras they're just really clean and here are some of my favorites for headline fonts you can see um, Arial Black is a really great, safe one to use. It's nice and makes a, it's really bold, makes a good statement, great headline font. Futura is a great one to use for headlines. We have Tahoma. This one I can never pronounce. I think it's French. Trebuchet. I'm sure that's not right. Anyways, it makes a really great font. So we also have Rockwell and Garamond. All of these make really great headline fonts. And next, here are some examples of some good body fonts to use. We have Calibri. This is pretty much the standard um, default font that comes with Microsoft products now. And I just think it's a really nice, clean-looking font, and so I use it in presentations. I like Century Gothic. It looks really... Um, Century Gothic will give you a really uh, classy, uh, sort of elegant, clean look. It's got a little bit of wider letters there, you'll see. Century Schoolbook I like, and Helvetica, and Gil Sands. All of these are really great fonts that you can use for the content or body of your slides. Pretty much um, you can experiment with the fonts. The important thing is to make sure that you use uh, consistency throughout your presentation. So pick a headline font and use it throughout the whole thing, or pick up a body font and use it throughout the whole thing. And then if you want to throw one other font in there for accents or for special use, um, you can do that as well, but typically don't have more than three or three fonts or maybe four if you um, have a really long presentation. So the only number one rule that I insist on is don't use Comic Sans ever, you know, unless you're doing a presentation about <laughs> bad fonts to use. Okay, so that's it for fonts, and I hope you enjoyed this little presentation by unsuckyourpresentation.com. Don't forget to visit us on the web, unsuckyourpresentation.com, and go forth and create unsucky PowerPoints, and we will see you next time.